video I'm going to cover the installation of uh, a baby change station in a, a restroom. Uh, I just want to put a disclaimer out right there up front that I'm not stating this is the best way or the only way to put it in. I'm just showing you the steps I went through. Uh, there's a lot of warnings to make sure you use a trained professional to install it. It's something you need to take seriously. If you don't feel you can do it, you don't have the right knowledge, then hire somebody to do it. Um, again, this is just a suggestion. I'm not telling you this is the way to do it. I just want to make sure that disclaimer is out there and um, make sure it's done, it's done right, and it's going to be safe for everybody. So here's the information, and talk to you later. Hey, it's Ken Barrett, Laundry Mad How Too. We're deep in the restroom today, and installing a baby change station. Something that I kept meaning to do, but just uh, didn't got to, and you know, finally decided to dive into it. So I got the, the holes drilled in here, and I got some toggle bolts for that. First, as a mounting bracket goes on, we just switch this around. So we start with this mounting bracket that goes on. What that does is holds the main piece to hold it in place until you can get all the screws in. So, so we've got our, there's a big paper template came with this one. I'll put the links below here um, where I got this one from. It was about as well, $160. So get the holes there for the mounting bracket and then the other, the other holes on there for the main piece. So we'll get some toggle bolts and we'll get it put together. So these are the toggle bolts I got. You drill a half inch hole and uh, drill them back. I just pick them up at you know, Lowe's Home Depot, whatever. You drill the hole through, you push these in, and then you actually pull the, they come with a long kind of plastic guide. So it's not like a lot of the toggle bolts where you gotta have a really long bolt to get in there. This pulls it back through and you can hold it in there. So we got those, get some bigger washers, just to make sure, we've got a couple there. We've got a regular size washer and a big fender washer. Just to make sure we got the right ones here. It's easier to grab. You know, seven cent washer wire there. And uh, so we'll get those put in and then we'll hang the first bracket. So I got one of those toggle bolts in and uh, I can do it one handed here. Get those uh, holes lined up. He's in there, and I just hold it up with my unapproved tool here. So that goes in and you just wiggle it around a little bit and you can use these to manipulate it to make sure it gets nice and tight there. And then all you have to do is slide this up so it's on a, a little tie wrap thing so that pulls it tight, holds it into place, you pull these out of the way, run your bolt in and then just snap off whatever's left. So they work pretty easy and they're good for, I think the rating says 802 pounds each in concrete so that should do what we need to do. So we've got it hanging just off the bracket here now, we haven't got the bolts in, we just had to put those in and what you can see with these is that if I, if I just run this bolt in, the head's going to right through and it's not going to do anything. Um, i got a couple of different size washers here, so what I could use is just a standard. I get better at this one handed thing. So I could use just a standard washer on there and it's, it's going to provide, you know, it's going to cover the hole, it's going to give some support. But these fender washers, they're, they're much bigger washers, you can see, and they will they will fit inside of there. There's a cap that goes over here when it's done. So what that'll do is it's going to provide a lot more support, and it's going to spread the weight out between uh, around that hole, and give it that much more support on there. So we'll get these bolts put in, snap the caps on, we'll be able to. There we have it. It's all in. Um, we got the caps in place. There's a dispenser here for some uh, paper liners you can lay down on top of the table. It's, it's all there. Uh, one thing you'll find in here that you really want to get completed is the, the warranty card. Something like this, you don't want to have to uh, keep track of it and track it down. Fill out the warranty card, you know, if it's a business, put the business information down so if you sell the business then it's going to come to the next person. So it's in there, it's done. Um, there's a lot of disclaimers about making sure you know, you're a qualified professional to mount this and you get the right mounting hardware. What I've done is a suggestion. I'm not saying that's the only way to do it, the best way to do it. I'm going into a block wall, um, you know, used everything that it should work on here, but again, I'm taking my own responsibility on this, and I've got to put the disclaimer out there on something like that, on something like this, that you really need to do your own investigation, and if you're not confident or you're not comfortable putting it in, then um, hire a pro and get it bolted on right. Um, my biggest concern on here is not putting a baby on there. It's the eight and ten year old kids that are going to climb up on it. 
but when it's all done, closed up at a place. It's a pretty small bathroom, but you can see it actually works out pretty good because they can reach the sink and the trash can and not have to, to walk away from a baby on the change station. So it's all in all, it's pretty handy. It doesn't really take up any space in the restroom at all. So if you need any more information, it's laundromathow2.com. See you there.